Hi, welcome to the new video. Today, as you can see, I'm doing um, the rivet stencils. So there are several uh, objects in the set. So first I have the uh, centerpiece and the, the outside parts. So I have like two outside parts. so that the light source is always the same. So I am using black and white as opaque colors and the rest are transparent colors. So this now is stencil number two, which fits uh, into the uh, cover stencil. And I'm doing this in a full black now. And then I'm using the search stencil, which are the uh, darker parts and the rivets. So I'm using black again, but uh, with less opacity. So now doing some shading and uh, now I'm using a stencil to make a, like a little shadow on this metal part. Now I'm doing a um, freehand airbrush by putting a shadow on the top of the rivet. And I'm using the final sample, which is the highlight white. And I'm doing the freehand on the opposite side. And I'm doing the highlight on the top of the rivet. And there's now the highlight on the other side of the, the rivet. So this is uh, how the whole stencil works. So black, grey, white. And the, the old design is uh, placed into the cover stencil, so you don't need really to clean the stencil because uh, it fits with the outline of the stencil. So you can really work fast with this stencil. So this is the, the the bottom design of the the metal, and there the the highlight and uh, shadows are um, matching for the, the picture. So I would have just used one stencil that wouldn't fit. So grey again.
and the final one at the bottom So as you can see, I have no I have problem to um, put the stencil on. So the best is if you have like a, like a dark border at the stencil, so you can uh, put it down. And once you have like um, a darker outline, you can position this really good. Now comes the grey. So I have numbers on the uh, the stencils. So one, two, four is for the bottom, and four for the top, and uh, five through eight is for the bottom. So normally before the uh, before you use white, you should do the freehand uh, shadows. As you can see, you always get the perfect fit. And if you have a dark background, uh, you can uh, skip the uh, third step, so the gray, and you work with just white and uh, the stencils one, two, and four. Now the highlights. And now on the opposite side, I'm doing the, the shadow. So now this is um, the centerpiece. Uh, I have like uh, extra stencils for uh, the uh, the highlights at the centerpiece and the four sides, and I have also an extra stencil for the uh, for the dark area around the centerpiece. But now I'm doing the corners, though so it's actually the same um, working steps as the round one so you have grey, you have black, another grey and a highlight white and also it works with with the cover stencils So what I'm doing now with the black, I 
the same I have for the centerpiece and the four other pieces. I haven't used it yet, but it's also in the stencil. areas I also have like um, letters and some uh, warning sign in this set. So now I'm using uh, this side. It would be better for uh, the continuity of uh, shadows and stuff if I used the smaller side because then the rivets were in the same direction as in the centerpiece or on the sides. But this is just so you see how this works. white same on the other side and on the bottom see how fast you can work and do uh, like perfect rivets. So now um, I'm doing a little bit, um, it's like little dots, um, therefore I'm, um, oh, first I'm doing the, uh, the uh, signs, so I have like several warning signs in this set, and um, a circle and the uh, triangle. Fold the circle and just uh, spray it down and then uh, flips the stencil like 45 degrees and you can fill the gaps. And here you can see you have like two different uh, letter sets and some uh, warning signs. And uh, I like you have like uh, biohazard uh, tom sign the skull and this is a two-part set so uh, there's the first black and then there's um, a smaller version for the the inner picture
So now I'm doing these dots with very low pressure. And now I'm using like a cardboard to uh, turn these dots into like stripes so you have like more used look on the metal and it's quite easy to make so like I said this is now the one of two uh, letters sets that they're in the um, set so you can do every uh, lettering that you want. So I hope you liked it. Uh, can subscribe my channel and see you soon.